quickly. Take us through how the balls ended the no week today. Uh, the balls ended the week uh, still down, down about 0.1%. Uh, uh, day on day, though, it did appear to have, uh, to have made a U-turn, um, gaining about 1.33% uh, to close at an unadjusted figure of uh, 21487 um, Volumes also spiked significantly. Uh, week on week, uh, we're looking at the spike of about 40%, day on day of about 25%. Uh, total volume traded was 589 million shares. Um, of all stocks traded, 36 stocks uh, gained, 36 stocks lost, 52 stocks essentially traded flat. Uh, among the top gainers were UAC Properties, Access Bank, FCMB. Among the top losers were Tana Hall, International Breweries, uh, Continental uh, Insurance. Uh, what we think generally, the, the market in one sentence uh, essentially traded sideways, uh, uh, dipping marginally. Finally. Well, over the week, we saw that the boss has been losing some ground. Do you expect it to recover well sometime next week? Uh, that, um, that cannot be said with any measure of certainty. Uh, what, what we think and um, what, what we believe may happen is, is the boss essentially trading, trading sideways uh, uh, with, with, with the possibility of... Um, of, of trading positively, marginally, marginally moving now. Uh, what, what we think is that, uh, well, you would expect, you would expect that the stock market being the leading indicator of where the economy is going to, to have priced in the, uh, the positive micro fundamentals of the Nigerian economy. That hasn't happened because of, because of the, debt, the debt problem, the, the leverage issue, as well as the banking sector crisis that has, kept, that has kept that market depressed. We don't think this will go away between today and the end of next week. So we still see, we still see, we, we, we believe a lot of investor party, right, will cascade into next week. And what we'll just see is um, essentially just trading sideways with, uh, with marginal gains. Fairly. Well, results came out this week of Dangote Flour, Dangote Sugar, Nestle. How has the market taken to the results out? Uh, mixed results, friendly. Mixed results, as you know, would always, uh, uh, wouldn't send the market in any direction. I mean, for... For a dangote on the flower side was all positive. On the sugar side, was 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 negative. So what we have is you know a slew of mixed results. But some companies doing very well. Some companies surprising the market you know in the negative direction. So how that mixed result goes into the, you know last week when we spoke we did say that the market will likely trade sideways. Uh, we had we had factored in a lot of the mixed results coming in and uh, which we believe will, will, will continue in the immediate term. So a lot of that mix with us is just going to feed into the sentiment of the market trading sideways. So we don't, we don't see any significant impact. We don't see one result changing the direction of the market. Fairly. Now we've heard of some developments in the Niger Delta. Take us through the impact that's having on the Nigerian asset markets. Uh, while, while, one, while, one would, while one would expect that the recent peace initiative Right, will lead to will lead to a somewhat um, a somewhat um, heavy positive sentiment for for the real estate and the stock the stock market. We haven't seen that coming, and it, a lot a lot of that again is as a result of the banking crisis and the leverage problem we have, where a lot of the 1.6 trillion in uh, uh, um, in target assets were essentially collateralized with real estate and stock market. So for every marginal gain you see that there's someone willing to offload. And it does seem that there's almost like an endless supply of those um, 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 of assets in those markets. So while the while the sentiment is very heavy, while what has happened in Niger Delta is very very significant, all output has um, um, has shot up has shot up seriously. Uh, we, we do think the effect the effect on 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 the major asset classes in Nigeria would not kick in until until probably mid next year. Finally. And just before we go, give us an outlook for the currency. Uh, the Naira will remain stable, friendly. Uh, it's a policy-driven currency. We don't, um, uh, we don't see, we don't see the CBN's view changing anytime soon. What, what may happen, however, down the line is in order to control inflation, which may come in as a result of the record liquidity being pumped into into the economy. You may see the CBN um, um, switching to 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 appreciating the currency, uh, but we don't see that happening in the immediate term. Uh, app appreciation may come in. Towards, um, uh, towards the first to second quarter next year, but we don't see that happening this quarter.